It's uh, hello, Dr. Tyson at all. Is there a possible way to generate an artificial magnetic field on Mars so that it can have a thicker atmosphere and protect colonists on the surface from radiation? It's a two part. Wow, question. This is this is deep. It's I mean, a two part people question. People thinking all about it. Right. So. And do you want me to go, go, here, on? go on? Go and this go. is a, is. There a technology that we could theoretically develop, or would we be better off trying to build underground colonies on Mars? Yeah. So what she knows is that here on Earth we have a magnetic field, not very strong, but we have one. That's why compasses. Anybody remember what a compass is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Old, old right. school. Old school. Old school. Uh, we have a magnetic field, and when dangerous charged particles come from the sun, we call it the solar wind. Mm -hmm. They see Earth's magnetic field, and then they channel themselves away and funnel in at the poles. And they collide with our atmosphere and render it aglow, wow. causing the aurora. Mm -hmm. So when we see the aurora, that's the atmosphere and our magnetic field shielding us from harmful radiation. Wow. Okay. So if we lose our magnetic field, the radiation just comes straight in wherever it hits. Mm. Mars, we may have once had a magnetic field, it does not any longer. Mm. So if you pitch tent, you're susceptible to this flux of high energy particles. So she was uh, correct to wonder, will we just have underground colonies? Yeah. All right, and then I'd wonder, well then, what the hell is the point of being on Mars? <laughs> well, yes. well, live underground. You we'll live be, underground here. We'll be uh, basically the, the ants of Mars. <laughs> no, no, the worms, you know, whatever. You know, like, what's the point of that? Yeah. Uh, just consider that Almost anything will protect you from those particles, mm. like the roof of a house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you you could just ha the shielding doesn't have to be elaborate. Mm -hmm. It just has to have some kind of shielding. And there's a whole branch of NASA. Uh, well, there's a branch that studies the sun and a subdivision of it that specializes in space weather. We Ooh. call it space weather, Ooh. which is when is the solar wind coming. Because it correlates with explosions on the sun. Yeah. It's not just at any time. Yeah. So as the sun goes through cycles, it goes through uh, intense periods, and then it uh, quiescent. It's an 11-year cycle. So as it pumps up, we get more warnings about explosions on the sun. And as it drifts off, we have, there's fewer. And we know when a pulse of these particles is going to hit us, because it takes time to get from the sun to, to Earth or mm -hmm. to Mars. Mm -hmm.